your hands are tied you you can see the picture i know it's not the same meaning you know idioms they are not the same meaning so you can say bismillahir rahmanir rahim assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel brain train taleem this is farzana shaheen and today we are doing idioms is related to body is a vocabulary so it can help you to improve your english this is the third part today so first idiom is your heart is in the right place it means if your heart is in the right place you try to do the right thing even if things don't always work out for you, for the best so examples for that are his heart was in the right place when he raised everyone's salaries but in the end it meant some people lost their jobs the other example bilal's heart is in the right place and he means well but he sometimes upsets people by being too direct when he speaks the next idiom your heart goes out to someone if your heart goes out to someone you feel great sympathy for them for example we are so sorry to hear of your loss and our hearts go out to you in this difficult time so you can understand the meaning here right the other one is my heart went out to alina when i heard that her parrot had died i know how much she loved him okay third one your hands are tied you you can see the picture i know it's not the same meaning you know idioms they are not the same meaning so you can say your hands are tied if you are prevented from doing something that you would normally have to power off the authority to do example the president says he would like to spend more on schools in poor districts but says his hands are tied by what he calls budgetary restrictions other example i would really like to give you the contract mr shiraz but my hands are tied because of those laws on giving contract to people with criminal records so I cannot give the contract to criminal people so other one is a gut feeling what's a gut feeling if you have a gut feeling means you sense something about a person or a situation without knowing why but you are sure what you sense is true that's the gut feeling example we can see here as soon as i came into the room i had a gut feeling that something was wrong and then i saw the dead body so this is the gut feeling other it just said his gut feeling was that laila was lying and sure enough she was a bad hair day what is a bad hair day if you are having a bad hair day it means everything seems to be going wrong for you example is here poor sanas in a terrible mood i think she is having a bad hair day you can use this with in them into the sentences next one is I knew it was going to be a bad hair day when my car wouldn't start. Of course. <laughs> Now there is a quick quiz just to know that you got what I was saying. What did you know the meanings of these idioms? Let's try. First one is Amna said she had a gut feeling that her friend was cheating on her, but she couldn't prove it. could prove it had proved it already what could be the answer just think that i tell you yes but she couldn't prove it it's a gut feeling only you can feel it and you are sure that it's right there is no proof for that okay remember that the guy in the bank who approves loan said his hands were tied and he what could be the right option he can't untie them would be happy to give us the loan 
couldn't approve our loan. So what's the right option? Couldn't approve our loan. That's the right one. Meena's heart is in the right place and she always tries to there are three options. You have to choose the right one. Do things to help people. B. Make a good living. C. Take advantage of people. Do things to help people. That's the right one. Perfect. Next quiz is if you are having a bad hair day. So what does it mean? You have you have had a terrible haircut. Nothing's going right for you. You don't care what people think about you. What's the right one? Yeah, it's nothing is going right for you. That right option. Next is the president said his heart went out to. So what will be the answer? All the earthquake victims, be all his old best friends, or all the money he lost. So what's the right option? His heart went out to all the earthquake victims. That's the right one. So I hope you understood, you got it. If you liked, please share it with your friends, write a comment, and I come with new videos. And please subscribe also if you have not done yet. Thank you so much for being with me.